Should Atlas remake Persona 4 Golden? Now this is a question that I'm sure everyone's asking after the whole Persona 3 Reload announcement because Persona 1 and 2 don't exist, but hey, I'll actually discuss that in another video, so subscribe. Anywho, should Atlas do it? I think yes. But here's my reasoning t as to why. Now I know a game is much more than what you see in visuals and where you go in the game and so on because underneath all that is a whole deck of code that's making it all work and function. But if you really think about it, Persona 4 isn't that big of a game. Now I'm not talking popularity wise because you know how that is, but I'm talking more so like the size of the areas in which you visit in the game. Not so much the shadow world, but specifically like I guess the uh, real world uh, sections as I'll call them, the non-metaverse sections as I could also call them, but you get what I mean, right? Um, so every environment in this game is quite literally small. Smaller than Persona 3 in a sense, but even Persona 3 is still quite relatively small besides really like the big school, uh, the mall is just kind of cool to explore, and they could do more with like the town area in Persona 3, but Persona 4, relatively, even with how I would say it's open for interpretation with how like big the town is and so on, Inaba really do be that small. And they could really remake this game very fast if they wanted to, but of course it comes down to, you know, the scripting and, you know, the code that would need to go into actually remaking and then redoing the voice lines. And hopefully they keep the same cast for Persona 4 because the cast is so iconic, it'd be stupid not to. But then you have, like, the Shadow World elements that may take some time to, I guess, develop, and because that's more, like, the bigger scope of the game is actually the shadow world aspect because if you think about it the shadow world is kind of bigger than what we see in Innova, right so i think honestly like this remake probably wouldn't be that bad to do as long as they just keep it to the original golden you know script like to a t all they have to do is pretty much make it like Persona 5 and it will sell like hotcakes because graphically I do think Persona 4 Golden is dated even though it is an amazing game and it was great for its time on the PS2 visually the character models and you know overall the graphics just have not aged well if you really really look at it now it's the time of its era this is how games looked and I personally can still go back and play these games but I think the main portion of the people who just got into Persona 5 and wanting to play the prior Persona games can't really get into the old graphics uh, territory from the PS2, which they should kind of just suck it up and actually try to play Persona 4 Golden as it stands, but hey, because it, it is literally available on all platforms, which it was not like this before, and I had to get a PS TV to play Persona 4 Golden through and through, which man, the resolution on that thing, oh man, that was uh, jarring, if you will. I'm so glad we got Persona 4 Golden for uh, Steam when it did come out, and now it's available on all platforms. Now, since Atlas isn't putting uh, Fez into Persona 3 Reload, I would still like all the golden content within Persona 4 uh, Golden to be present and not just Persona 4 from the PS2, right? Um, I really do hope that they can include all the content because Persona 4 is, like, important. Like, everything that Golden included is important, and I do really hope that they include all of it. I'm really emphasizing how important it is because original P4 just has some crazy-ass difficulty spikes that make no sense. There's, like, no scaling. I swear to God. <laughs> But maybe I'm just being a little too harsh because Final Fantasy X was probably the other JRPG that I played from that time. And that game is not easy because you eventually have to grind to get, like, good stuff and actually, like, 
you know, build up your strength and levels. Just something with the original Persona 4 release, just there is not a good scale thing going on there. The normal difficulty for Golden feels like what it should be or what it should have been, but they like made it too hard to the point where if you're not grinding at least five or six days out of the time limit you got and that then you don't have any time for social links like it just doesn't work somewhat <laughs> or maybe i just suck because i can't play nocturne either i don't know <laughs> But I almost wonder if they could add extra content on top of what they have with Persona 4 Golden. I just don't think it would make much sense because I think Golden kind of tied up everything well enough for it to not need anything else, but who knows. Ellis can surprise me. Uh, I don't know if they will, but hey. Anyways, I just wanted to get the discussion started because Persona 3 Reload just got announced quite recently, or a month ago, we'll say. But it was still recent enough that I haven't talked about a Persona 4 Golden remake uh, yet, so I just figured to start talking about it because I just feel like it's worth uh, mentioning that they will probably go ahead and do it at some point here. But... You know, I just wanted to kind of give my thoughts to what that could possibly look like and to give my opinion on what that could uh, be. And I want to know what you guys think primarily in the comments because I'm just one person and it's always good to have more of a discussion uh, going on about this. Um, but with that all being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.